Hey YouTube, this is Taylor with a tutorial of uh, VMware Fusion and how to get the Windows 7 ISO to uh, work with it. So, right now uh, I'm just going to open VMware Fusion. This is one I made earlier, just as a uh, Just a test run. All right. So what you're gonna do after you've downloaded the ISO file, whether it be on a torrent site or a CD, so or DVD, I mean. Uh, so I'm gonna push new. Uh, what you wanna do is, if you're not using the DVD or the CD. Uh, just push continue without disk. Um, click this one, the second one, use operation operating system. Wait. The use operating system installation disk image file. Click this one. Um, I have mine under applications, whether you saved and downloaded yours is where yours would be. So this one is mine, but your disk image will be different than mine. Um, so this, the size to make sure is this one's 2.3 gigabytes. Make sure the kind is an ISO disk image. And make sure if you've downloaded like a whole bunch just to see and just because you couldn't get it before. Make sure the day was created. Um, what is this date that you downloaded it? So you can just choose it, then you push continue. Now, uh, for the operating system, when it first, when you push OK from the last one, if Microsoft Windows, if this doesn't automatically come up like this with the Microsoft Windows, um, then you might have a problem there, but it might not be. Just might be uh, just normal error. Um, you want to switch it to Windows Server 2008 if you have the 32-bit version. But if you have the 64-bit version, then you use this one. But I have the 32-bit, so I'm just going to use this one. So you want easy install. Um, count name, username, what, whatever your username would be or what you want as your name. Um, put it in a password that you don't have to. I just think it's useful somehow. I don't know. But a uh, product key. If you don't have a product key, you don't have to use this. You can just go to. Uh, Microsoft.com and get the the product key off of uh, there. There's a link. I'll try to get it and put it on the side there. Um, but I'm, I already used my product key, so I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just going to push continue. Uh, that, so this is how it should come up. Then you push customize settings, and then you'll save it as Windows 7, right? But for me, I'm just going to put um, new at the end, or actually I'm going to put home, because I already have the Windows Ultimate, so now I'm going to get the home premium. And push save so now you want the processor and RAM make sure it's one virtual you can put actually as much as you want but I recommend one uh, I put 800 for the RAM and megabytes um, the recommended minimum is 768 
actually gonna change this to 850 just because uh, it might run a little bit faster. Actually, I'm 900 just so it runs faster for you for me to show you guys. Uh, 3D display. Your graphics processor is not the greatest. And take this off. If this comes up anyways, take it off. Even if you have a good one. If that comes up, take it off. Uh, make sure you use this like mine. Settings for the network. Hard disks. Um, change this to 20. And what this will do, this will actually uh, not use 20 gigabytes right away. It just reserves it. So that way, you don't use, like, if you have 20 gigabytes left on your hard disk, like, your internal one, it doesn't use it all. It only use six, and then just take it from there. So you could actually download more stuff, and you'll still have, like, 14 gigabytes left on your hard disk. So, oh, push apply. So that's a cool, pretty cool feature. Uh, I like this because if you're on full screen, you don't have to take out full screen to see how much battery power you have left. And yeah, so that's it for the settings. So this is the new one that you just downloaded. It. Push the one that looks like a play button. Push startup guest. Now, um, this Windows is loading file only happens the first time you load it up. Just this little segment right here, though. And uh, it may take a while, though, for it to load up every time because you gotta remember that you're trying to run two operating systems at the same time so I'm not sure how much longer I have on this because I had the timer for eight minutes so this will be a two-part video, just to let you guys know ahead of time.